Jump de jump jump jump. One, two, three, four, five. I know there were six. Six what? <laughs> Invisible bulldogs. Straight from Netherworld Pets, our gift to Enchantra. They're her favorites. Oh, I see. Now I really see. What's that awful smell? The dogs? Nope. Homemade dragon stew. <laughs> Enchantra's favorite dish, it's to die for. <laughs> Don't you girls think you're overdoing it a bit? Hello! We're talking Enchantra here. Head of the Witches' Council, our Supreme Leader, Ruler, President, Grand Pooba. And she's coming to evaluate Sabrina's powers. We're just trying to do the right thing. Yeah, kiss up mightily. Enchantra's the only witch with the power to zap us back into our adult bodies. Bring on the grub, because I'm a hankering for something hearty. <laughs> um, what was that? <laughs> oh, my stars and garters. <laughs> <laughs> Mutant mutts! Downstairs! It's a war zone! I'm trying to study, Salem. For your witch evaluation? For my history test? Now Anne's gray! Uh-uh. I'm not going back down there. Who knows what your aunties are gonna whip up next to impress Enchantra. No! Enchantra's got it so made, which all I had to do was zap around the universe, give evaluations, evoke terror in the hearts of witches everywhere. Yep, she's a natural. Instead, I have tests, homework, chores, the social scene. Welcome to my so-called half-mortal life. Hey, want to see something cool? It's a wish crystal. Whoa, cool. Yep, this baby grants the owner his fondest wish for 24 hours. Pass it on when you're done. I'd love a whole day without gemstone. Sorry, kid. Only produces one wish, and then it burns out. What are you going to wish for? Human body. This cool rockin' daddy is gonna be sprouting some thumbs real soon. I'd wait until after Enchantress visit to take your human vacation if I were you. You're right. One look at my handsome human bod and she'll be all over me. <sighs> I meant she might double your cat sentence if she catches you cheating. Ah! <laughs> Just to be on the safe side, Protect this for me till after she leaves. Uh-oh. Thunder. Sounds like Enchantra's about to make her entrance. Let's get this over with. She's, She's here. here! How does anyone expect me to get any studying done around this house? What a show-off. Blech! Sugar-free hemlock flavor. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye! May I present the indomitable Madame Enchantra! Hello, darlings! Greatness is before you. Welcome, Enchantra! That's how you address the greatest witch in the universe? The big cheese, the head, honcho? Welcome, Enchantra! Mr. Stabbing Back, do something before I lose my temper! <sighs> Such a drama queen. You will apologize to Madame Enchantra at once. S sorry Much better. You've got the trembling down. That's an important precursor to a first-rate grovel. <laughs> What's that? Invisible puppies! A gift for you, Enchantra! <laughs> and homemade dragon stew prepared just the way you like it. <laughs> Alive, apparently. Very thoughtful. But I've never seen so much kissing up in 10,000 years! Bye-bye! <laughs> what are we trying to do, girls? Cover up our niece's inadequacies as a witch, hmm? No, no, no not at no, all! No, 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 no way! No. <laughs> Let's just get on with the proceedings. Now then, time to test your powers and see if being a half-witch has ruined you. It hasn't! No, no, she's great. You'll see. You'll she see. can do it. Silence! <laughs> Much 
better. All right, then. Moving on to basic levitation. You fly, girl. Oh, a little wobbly on takeoff, but not bad. You writing all this down, stabbing back? Ever so eagerly, madam, you dotty old cow. For our final test, a summoning spell. Summoning spell? We'll start with something simple. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. In our attic? Uh, just for size, dear. Oh, don't they teach you anything in that mortal school? Um, magic words, hear my plea. Stack the pizza right before me. Uh, oops. Don't you even know how to do a simple summoning spell incantation? First, you need the feather of an eagle. Ow! So happy to be of assistance, madam. And then you mutter the following incantation while holding said eagle feather between index finger and thumb. Twixel picks and ginger tree, I command you now, bring to me. Well, see, I haven't gotten that far in my witchcraft. Huh? Hmm. Just as I suspected, your cushy mortal life has weakened your powers. Cushy? Well. What else do you call slacking off in mortal school, hanging out with your dull mortal friends? You've got it way too easy, Sabrina. Easy? You call homework, chores, and... and boys easy? You're the one living the lifestyles of the witch and famous. Like saying bow, kneel, and serve me is hard work. Sabrina, first word, calm. Second word, down. You truly think there's nothing more to being realm ruler than barking orders? All I know is that I sure wish you could be in my shoes and I could be in yours. Then you'd see firsthand the things that I... <laughs> hey! How did I get over here? And what am I doing over here? And why am I looking at... <gasps> me! me! Oh no! My wish crystal! Sabrina must have activated it accidentally when she wished you guys could swap lives. What? Even I'm vulnerable to the magic of the wish crystal? Which means I'm stuck in the body of a, a hard mortal child? Don't think I'm too kicked up about having the body of a wrinkled old... Watch it, kid! Ugh. What are you doing? Trying to zap up a simple hand mirror. Let me try. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Guess I'm pretty powerful now, huh? Oh! You now have my wonderfully seasoned Zapporific powers, but without a clue how to use them properly! And while I know every spell in the world, I'm totally trapped in a body with limited abilities! Oh, poo! How can I rule the netherworld like this? I'll never get any work done! Although I do have that annoying meeting tomorrow and that official visit from the King of the Slug People. I don't like the sound of this. I have a brilliant idea! You'll impersonate me in the netherworld until the spell is over. Are you serious? Queens are always serious. Pound my scepter on the ground three times and the doorway to the netherworld will open up. Chop, chop! So you're gonna live the life of a seventh grader? Absolutely. I deserve a vacation. What could be easier than 24 hours in the mortal world? It's a lot harder than being a chance of the pampered empress. By the way, you tell anybody about this and I'll zap you to witch reform school the minute the spell wears off. The secret's safe with me. Cat, go with her and keep her out of trouble. You got room service? Of course. Okay, I'm in. Have fun studying all my subjects. I'm going to have a blast rolling over mine. <sighs> Place is jamming. Can we say party time? Off with their heads! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Enchantra survived your visit with the huh, Spellmans. Yeah, what a cool group of people. Cool? Oh, I get it. You turned them into icicles. How delicious! <laughs> ah, what's that four-legged miscreant doing in here? Me, a miscreant? How dare you, pal? Uh, what's a miscreant? Look, even the White House has a cat. But you are allergic to animals. Well, I, uh, found a spell that cured me. I am Enchantra after all. 
Yeah, she's Enchantra, so bug off! Your visit with the Spellmans has done more damage than I suspected. Come along. Oh boy, now the fun really starts. <laughs> Pamper City, here we come. Wonder what the real Enchantra's up to. <laughs> hey, it! it. Just, Just like I thought a mortal girl's life was a piece of cake. I can handle this for 24 hours. I don't know. I'll talk to her. Uh, Sabrina? Move out of the way, fool! I know she's not talking to us. Uh-uh. No way. Oh, gosh, Willikers! Why did you turn off the TV, aunties? Because you're late for school. And what's with the haughty accent? Sounds just like Enchantra's fake job. Fake? Better watch out, Sabrina. We don't like the old bat any more than you do, but she is our leader. Even though the hoity-toity accent has gotta go, I heard from a very reliable source that she's actually from the south side of the netherworld. <sighs> Prepare to boil in oblivion! <gasps> What do you expect? You're still a kid. Who is late for school, now get a move on. I'm not leaving this house and you can't make me! Oh, guess they can. And what an archaic dwelling. What kind of creatures am I going to encounter here? Hey, Sabrina, what's up? I have to what? Speak to the press about the magic wall that's broken out between the East and West Netherworlds. Enchantra! Rot Wood from the Daily Poltergeist! Uh, what are you gonna do about the current crisis? Uh, no comment. No comment? Eh, yeah, what's the big idea? Yeah, you always give us a quote. Eh, yeah, she's playing games with us, boys. Come hey, on, man! Hey, 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 get your tentacles off me, El Creepo. Time for your next appointment, madam. Um, when does the pampering part start? 2 p.m. You're meeting with the Fairy Queen to discuss foreign diplomacy. Remember the proper greeting protocol. Uh, what's the proper greeting protocol? Says here you gotta bat your eyes twice, wiggle your nose, and stick a finger in your ear while you grunt three times. Only grunt twice, and she'll be highly offended. Got it. I think. We are not amused. Yeah! You expect me to learn about all those presidents? You were supposed to have it all memorized already, Sabrina. Impossible! There is only one name of importance to know, Enchantra! And who exactly is Encanta? Enchantra, head of the Witch's Council and ruler of all of the Netherworld. <laughs> You'll pay for these laughs. I'll see you all buried up to your human eyeballs in the darkest dimension in the galaxy. Ooh. Welcome to Detention Hall. <laughs> can get any worse, Salem. Oh, sure they can. And because of refusal to answer reporters' questions, the netherworld has begun to wonder if Enchantra knows what she's doing? Could the next step be impeachment? Impeachment? On the grounds of professional incompetence? Outrageous! Salem, I'm destroying Enchantra's career! Wonder how she's handling your life. Yeah. You want me to do what? The dishes, Sabrina, like always. And when you're done, it's your week to do laundry. My hands have become prunes. My body aches with mortal pain. My mind is numb with useless human information. I can take no more! Time for witch work, Sabrina. Witch work? You heard what Enchantress said. You're not keeping up. How can she? I mean, I. I think I've done a marvelous job, considering... Hey. We agree, but Enchantra doesn't know what a challenge it is to balance both mortal and witch life, so up and at them. 
how does Sabrina survive this life? I seriously don't know how Enchantra does it, Salem. Yeah, kind of explains her nasty disposition. Although the juvenile self-absorption and whipsaw mood changes are still a mystery to me. I can't wait to swap bodies and become the real Sabrina again. Yeah. Adios to this netherworld nightmare, and hello to my cat napping, quigly harassing life. Well, well, well. An imposter in our midst. <laughs> <laughs> Salem, only 30 minutes left and we get to go back home. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere. I know you're not the real Enchantra, little girl. And frankly, I couldn't be happier, because without the real Enchantra around and you unaware of how to use her powers, it's takeover time. Salem, quick, don't let him get the scepter. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That belongs to me now. Only one who knows how to use it has access to its unlimited power. Guards, take them to the dungeon! All we gotta do is stick it out for 30 more minutes. That's how much time's left till Enchanter and I swap bodies. We'll be home free. If only it were that simple, child. Welcome back, he who reigns on parade. When my potion is complete, it will make your switch with Enchantra permanent. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> I adore these new microwave cauldrons, don't you? <laughs> Once the spell comes to a boil, Enchantra will be stuck in the mortal world. I'll be ruler of the netherworld, and you'll be my prisoners forever. <laughs> Somebody's been reading the big book of supervillain cliches. No way I could spend eternity in goth wear, heavy eyeliner, and fat-sucking pantyhose. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what? Mr. Spot, hope this teaches you not to be sassy with your elders. Gotta train them before they turn into rebellious teenagers. When I get my powers back, ooh, how you witches are gonna pay. Fat-sucking pantyhose. Oh, that's good. I wish Enchantra were here to be much more satisfying to laugh in her face. <laughs> that's it. What's it? Doi, why didn't I think of this before? I'll zap Enchantra here with the summoning spell she taught me. How's that gonna help? She's you. I mean, she's stuck in your body with limited powers, remember? Yeah, but she can guide me in using her powers to stop stabbing back. What are we waiting for, girl? Madam Big Bottom to the rescue. Um... To complete the spell, I need an eagle's feather. Yeah, uh -uh. No way, no how. Find yourself another sucker. You're the only one around, Salem. How do I always get saddled with the horrible missions? <laughs> because you're resourceful, smart, and handsome. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Appointed leader of the Witches' Council. No, no, no. Of the entire nether world. No. Of the universe and beyond. Much better. I issue the following new rules. <laughs> later, Tater! You'll pay for this indignity! Your manservant, Mr. Stabbenback, found us out. Stole your scepter, and now he's boiling a spell to make the swap permanent. <laughs> 
Quick, Sabrina, repeat after me. Nickety snickety, it's time for delight. Nickety snickety, it's time for delight. Turn stabbing back into a tiny troglodyte. Turn stabbing back into a tiny troglodyte. No! I'll get you for this! I'll get you! Ah, ah. <laughs> done, Sabrina. Couldn't have done it without you, Enchantra. Okay, it's time for the change. I'm me again. Ah, thank the gargoyle moons and stars. Wow, guess I kind of underestimated your life, Enchantra. Your job isn't as easy as it looks. And neither is being a half-witch in a mortal world. Don't know how you do it, but you do it well, Sabrina. Thanks. Three words. Fat. Sucking. <laughs> oh, pretty old. Guess we're just better at our own lives. Hope I didn't mess yours up too much. I have a feeling we'll be able to straighten things out all right. Although there is one little piece of unfinished business I'd like to wrap up. And who has the most elegant, authentic accent you've ever heard? You, Enchantra. And who were you calling an old bat? Not, Not you, you, Enchantra. Enchantra. You missed a spot, girl. Not again!